Oh, I am so, so glad that the grind for battle rifles is over because basically half of them are so terrible, but Pack 5 and the Lockman 762 are both very, very good. And then the SL14, you can make really good as an AR if you make it fully automatic with the 50 round mag. Personally, just did not enjoy the grind for battle rifles. It felt the worst out of the three categories I've done so far. But also look at this. We got the banana knife. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of off-screen grinding. Been playing a little too much and not enough videos. So well, let's get to it. I will say though, the SMGs do feel really, really good uh, in this game, especially compared to everything else with how slow the sprint out time is and the ADS time is. I don't know, it's just at least for 6v6 and playing that way, SMGs are by far the easiest pick for me instead of ARs or anything else in this game. So yeah, I'm getting uh, I'm getting these three kills without dying uh, for the meantime as this video plays on in the background. But there are a few other things I do want to talk about. There's a lot a lot of problems that are starting to like basically surface as Modern Warfare 2 goes on and people are playing more and more and more. For example, uh, on this map, my brother did uh, have a very interesting model glitch. Uh, I don't know what caused it. Honestly, the map would probably play better with less cars. Oh my God, dude, this is every match, man. Ah, uh, dude. <laughs> Dude, literally 27 people running around actually having a fun time and now everybody's just sitting in a freaking corner all game, man. Oh my god, dude. Look at this, dude. But yeah, dude, all of his cars were invisible, or like for the most part, but like not every single one of them. It was just like half. And honestly, the visibility with all the extra cars, it makes it play better IMO. Like it's it's really, really nice to be able to actually see where they're coming from instead of just hiding behind every freaking corner of the map, man. Dude, another thing I really want to address though is why so footsteps in this game are very weird when I, and I say this because they're loud but only whenever they're like behind walls or they're a floor above you or like literally anything else in between but if they're on the same floor as you like anything else like that you don't hear it they just disappear I don't know why that is uh, you would think that you would hear them better if they're on like roughly the same area as you but you don't you hear them better whenever they're further away from you or behind a wall I'm been trying to piece that together it's not making sense to me this guy is still camping here dude that's actually crazy welcome to all of my games since more and more people have started buying modern warfare 2 it's not been fun nah dude i can't just to give reference of everything i have done like i said all the ars all the battle rifles are done i got the mxi i'm working on it, everything in between there was a six to eight hundred megabyte patch last night uh whenever i was trying to get a little bit of progress on this mx9 uh, apparently on xbox though it made you re-download basically the entirety of the base content so it was like a 40 gigabyte update for people on xbox but pc and playstation uh it was just about a six to eight hundred megabyte patch they haven't released the patch notes yet although they're blocked post by the time this video is up it's probably gonna be up yeah i don't know what caused that i feel sorry why can i not go through this window dude one thing i do hate about the map design though is that every map why does every map have to be so open with so many corners dude i i just i miss three lane maps three lane maps actually made it feel like it relied on aim skill and not just people hiding in separate corners or odd timing always happening That's another kills without dying. Beautiful, beautiful. Get to me, go faster. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. I'm out of ammo. Why? No way, dude. I got five done, though. I'll take it. Also, apparently another bug that's affecting a lot of players right now is that there is a glitch with the VTOL and Riot Shield. If you haven't seen it, it literally gives you God Mode. But yeah, it literally, all you have to do is if an enemy has a VTOL and you just pull out your Riot Shield and you look up at it and just tank all the bullets for whatever reason i'm pretty sure the way it works is that the server thinks you're dead uh because the riot shield physically like it blocks all the bullets but the vtol is on that server side shooting right through you it's not taking into account that there is a full-on riot shield but yeah literally just look up at it take all the bullets with the riot shield and you're invincible and after that you can run around the entire game and not a single person can kill you uh it's definitely being abused right now again as time and time progresses there's more and more bugs there's even an snd bomb glitch right now this was a thing in vanguard for the 
the first two weeks so here's hoping that it gets fixed quickly i know a lot of competitive players are going to be really really upset tomorrow or today if any of that stays well that's a nah that's gold done oh my god dude how many bullets are you gonna fire with your lmg that's all i gotta ask dude was just holding the angle. look at this he was just holding the angle the entire time another update from twitter anybody with the vault edition is going to be able to use the double xp tokens why this just wasn't a thing in the first place i don't know because everybody's paying the same price no one's gonna know to go buy your stuff through your in-game store i don't even understand why that was a thing i do know also on release whenever they released all the information they didn't have the asterisk because i was there reading everything and making sure i purchased the right edition in the right way whenever they first released all the information and the asterisk of buying it in their in-game store wasn't there whenever they first announced it so i know a lot of players were gimped their uh, their 10 hours to double weapon xp and xp tokens um especially for the fact that they paid a hundred dollars for it i am glad that they're finally giving it to players because honestly it should have been like that in the first place at this point i'm just getting xp for this right i'm not doing too much ah dude you just hold the angle ah welcome to my games bro people don't push they don't do anything they just wait on a corner all game long and i have to do the same thing otherwise i die man and modern warfare 2 is starting to really show its true colors also come season one we have been teased with a fifa or soccer crossover there has been basically these like outfits with uh pro soccer player names i do i don't watch soccer at all so uh but apparently there's Messi and he has a battle armor type thing where he has like a armor vest with his name on it that you can get supposedly that's gonna be like some crossover so there's a bunch of there's a lot of different things coming out in the in the next like week I mean, I know that the, okay, I know that the new season is going to be starting soon and we're getting a lot more leaks that way. So kind of cool knowing that we're getting a lot of content. Um, there's also another kind of glitch going on right now with like calling card and emblems. If you actually load up a private match and choose the CDL, any CDL mode, you can actually go through all of the unreleased like DLC calling cards and emblems and you can choose literally stuff that's not even released right now. Well, time to go play Invasion to go level up quickly because that's the fastest way to level up weapons is play Invasion and farm out bots, dude. Uh, I was across the other side of the map. There is actually even more information. Dude, there's so much information this week. So apparently Shipment will be coming back to Modern Warfare 2 as well, obviously, just like a bunch of other maps. But this time, it's going to also have a redesign just the same as Vanguard. Uh, apparently, Shipment is going to be on an actual ship. Nothing else much to say. It's going to actually have a theme to it. There's going to be uh, a ship and there's going to be multiple other things i'm just hit marker machine that's what this thing is oh my word yeah it's gonna be nice having shipment finally back though because we really do need something that gives fast xp that isn't farming bots or throwing decoys everywhere because it's just it gets boring dude i'm quite literally just gonna stay right here and wait on bots to come over dude look at that more feed me yeah, so that's basically all I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day as I'm grinding out SMGs because literally leveling is super slow. Also, apparently uh, Jack Lynx and their promotion isn't doing too hot. For whatever reason, they put their stickers, their codes and everything on the outside of the bag. So people are literally just walking into Walmart and stealing bags upon bags upon bags of codes. And those same people that are just grabbing all of those codes are selling them, like selling the operators. Uh, it's like a one out of four chance selling the operators, selling the calling cards, stuff like that for an absurd absurd price seeing them go as high as like 175 dollars on ebay crazy like it's ridiculous how expensive those people are trying to like scalp codes man it's terrible scalping mentality needs to be stopped it's so bad if you don't like uh invasion for xp grinding though there is another way to xp grind but you can only use specific weapons i still can't i do it you're just not fighting any medium range with this gun uh, but you can bro I literally just spawned in. The instant I spawned in, I got collated. All right, wrap it up. That's enough for me, dude. Uh, whatever. <laughs> this game, bro, just making me more and more irritated as the time goes on. Ah, uh, I can see why Dr. Disrespect uninstalled the game live on stream. I feel it, especially whenever you're trying to go for camera grinds and you just get trapped. Trapped and 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 trapped, just freaking trapped into a literally a two tap a Lockman 762, dude. I'm done.